Hey everyone, um, today I'm going to try to make uh, like a flower type thing out of this um, coaster and I've already got my resin mixed up um, and it, I waited uh, 20 minutes and it was it's 86 degrees which is good it's good to start at that temperature so I'm going to I put a little bit in here I'm going to use some of this white <coughs> um, it's casting oh, casting craft so I don't need a lot But I don't want it like see through. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Okay, I have, I did this once, but it didn't work out. Um, so I'm gonna try to do it again. Um, I'm pouring it in. I'm going to use this as a piping bag. Oh, you can't even see it. Um, it's a Ziploc bag. I've seen this done uh, by other people a couple of different ways. And um, I'm gonna, I think I'm going to end up trying both ways eventually. But you can see I put this in a Ziploc bag. Okay, and then I'm going to, I have these crushed glass. I want to add to the middle. Um, I probably should have put it in the resin, but I didn't. Um, and I'm putting the clear resin in here what's left and hopefully it won't be too much because I still want to put a a coat over top of this when it's when it's done I just want to make sure these are close together. And I'm going to go around this to make sure, well, just to hopefully get rid of any bubbles that are down there. And this is the, it's got a round tip so it won't scratch the mold unless you press hard so, so there's that let me get rid of these bubbles I have two colors two other colors I have the white and then I have sunset and persimmon red. So I'm gonna try it. We'll see. Whatever color is on the outside should move in. So we'll we'll see. I'll um. No, this isn't open. I'll do a uh, time time lapse to make sure. Yeah, it's not even coming from the the one spot. Okay. This is going to go on the inside then. 
I'll do one, two, and then for this one, oh, that's not opened either. Okay, one, oop, two, three. I'll keep it at that because I added a little too much there. Try to put this together. So then with the piping bag, I'm going to cut, I'm going to try to get a small area. Okay. A small tip and oh, darn it. Ah, frick. I'm just going around making like petals. Now I'm going to pull it in or make rows like that. Okay. And then this part I'm shaking. I'm gonna pull that part out. I'm not um, going in real deep to do this. I do see some air bubbles down in there. Um, okay. And uh, I guess I'll just spin that. Because you'll see the ink will draw in. I'll probably put a top coat on, um, a dark one, or I don't know, I'll figure it out. Um, and then unmold it. But I'll leave the camera on a time lapse so you can see how the inks come in. It's pretty cool to watch. Okay, I want to do the top coat on this. Um,
these ones here, I'm going to mix some white. There's not very much resin in here, so. This is pink. Okay, what am I gonna do with these? <clears throat> I got the hearts here. I'm gonna pour both at the same time. But that's okay, I can put a top coat on later, which would be actually better. Twenty-four hours later. Okay, it's the next day, um, and I want to unmold these. That didn't come out how I wanted it. That one kind of did. Oops. And that one kind of did. kind of you can see where the light kind of took over right there um, okay for this one okay here we go oh wow it came out a little blotchy but it still looks cool I'll go around the edges with a gold marker. That's what that looks like. So what do you think? It's not bad. There's some bubbles, but um, I'm still learning everything. But I like it. 
So, okay. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.